Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Alright, we have saved outside. I would highly re recommend that you do the same as well if you're following along. And, uh... Yes, we do, I do intend to do quite a bit with regards to cards this episode. However, um, it's not as bad as it could be in that we will still need to come back here again uh, in the uh, near future. Well, relatively near future, so I've split up the majority of the stuff uh, between the two times. So, anyways, the first thing we need to do, <clears throat> pardon me, is start abolishing some rules. Why do I want to abolish them? Because simply, I want to, well, like I said in uh, the, you know, when I first started the LP, there are some rules that I will be attempting to avoid playing with, like the plague. So anyways, I want to challenge this girl right here, the girl on the left, in the, I guess, the red skirt it is. I want to play cards and we be, because we do want to mix rules. Now, if you recall, Galbadia has the open and same rule. We well, it originally had the same rule, we spread open to it, so now it has open and same, which means Dullet has random and elemental. Random is probably the most nasty of the rules that we're looking at right here. Um, in some cases, it's not so bad, but that's in a very specific case, which we have not gotten to yet. So, but that won't be for a while, so don't worry about that. In any case, for this for the sake of this episode, we are going to be abolishing random, same, and elemental. Would be, which means we'll be abolishing random and elemental from Dalit, and we will be abolishing same from Galbadia. How do we do that? Well, we've already done step one in challenging this young lady, and mixing rules, and we're going to quit out, and see if we can get it to uh, do it on the first try. Probably not. <laughs> and open that spread. We do not want that. I think I'll try three times on screen this time, and if it doesn't happen, then I'll do the rest off screen. Um, this can take relatively, can happen relatively quickly to abolish one of the rules, or it can take <laughs> upwards of an hour. So yeah, it's very dependent on where exactly you are situated in with regards to the random number generator of the game, so, yeah. So, let's reload and try again. So what I'm looking for while playing this young lady is... I'm not saying young, she may be my age, but anyways. The rent -a car lady. I'll just call her the rent -a car lady. So, and I intend to abolish random or elemental right now um, because I can only abolish one at a time. So let's challenge her again. Mix rules. So I just want to abolish either random or elemental. Same spread, not what we want. All right. Try one more time on screen, and then I'll do the rest off screen. Hey, it looks like the diff roller showed up. Sweet. If it manages to stick around, we might be alright. Nothing happened there, and we can still mix rules, so indeed nothing happened. That can happen as well. Thank you. 
Nothing. Still nada. Let's try it again. same spread. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to do the rest off screen, and I guess I'll uh, be back when okay, whenever the uh, rule gets abolished, so I'll be back then. did not take long at all. Praise the Lord for that. Yeah, it, it can take upwards, easily take upwards of an hour. Uh, like I said, it depends entirely on where you are in the random number generator. Um, yeah, <laughs> so we got elemental abolished. And just to show you. We currently have in our stock uh, Dalit's rules, so same and open should not show up. It does not, and random is the only one we've got. All right, sweet. So now that we only have ra the random rule on us, which means when we go back to Timber, which is the Galbadia region, which has the open and same rules, we now, with random, have a rule that they do not have, which means we can abolish a rule in the Galbadia region. So let's head back to Timber. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we will have to walk it, but it does not take long at all. So, I'll just uh, show you the route on, sc on screen, and uh, yeah, pretty s simple. Just follow the road, really, except for when we get to timber. But yeah, you'll see. Those directions that the uh, leader of the forest fox was it about, uh, you know taking the road as opposed to the train to get to Galbadia Garden. Part of her directions could apply to this. Well, yeah, do apply to this. Because this is the road that we would have to walk on to do so. Anyways, stop rambling me. Anyways. <laughs> and there's Timber. And this is the road that uh, the, the uh, leader of the forest fox told us to take, to take take the first right kind of thing, and then just follow it kind of thing. So yeah, so remember, remember this that part of the intersection. It's really the only inter intersection we have to worry about. And here's timber. All right, so I want to save it out here again. Uh, yeah, because conveniently. closest person we can challenge to a game of cards is right here. So he wants to mix rules, so there should be open, random, and same, I believe, in the uh, list. And we want to abolish same. I've always found same to be one of the more difficult ones to abolish for some reason. But, uh, that just may be, you know, uh, me thinking that's the case when it actually isn't, so. Times like this that make me nervous around the Holy Spirit. But anyways, yeah, we just abolished same on screen in the first try. Alrighty. So I guess I don't have to edit that out at all. 
<laughs> so now, just a ball hand, yeah, just to show you again. We have abolished same, so now the only rule we should have in our hand is open, which is exactly what we want because that is the exact same rule, the only rule that is present in Balaam, which is what we're trying to do. We're trying to spread Balaam's rules to the entire world. So there we go. So let's just head back to Dalit. Try to avoid the grass so we can avoid battles. And in case you're wondering, um, you know, what if I just change, take the uh, railroad, you know, the railroad tracks to Dalit, and you know, between Dalit and Timber and back kind of thing, it's that there is a small amount to where you'll have to walk on the grass there when you get to Timber, because unfortunately you cannot enter the town from the tracks on foot anyway. Uh, so. Yeah, you'd have to walk on the grass a little bit. And just the sheer chance of you running into a battle and having to run from it um, actually completely offsets any any time savings that you might accumulate. So, yeah. Let's take the road. I think there's only like a, like a 10 second difference or something like that. But, uh, yeah. So, just take the road. Play it safe. All right. Let's save it out here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alright, and now we have the open rule, they have the random rule. And we would like to abolish the random rule. So let's see if we can do it in the first try. First try now. And spread. All right. <laughs> so I'll uh, eh, now nah, I'll just do it off screen. So yeah, I'll just uh, reset and I'll keep trying to abolish random, and I'll be back. Well, when it happens. go random was abolished from the region which means the dollar region has no rules except for the trade rule all right so great so what do we do now I thought we were supposed to put Balam's rule here well all we need to do is spread the open rule so I'm gonna head back to timber off screen uh, using the same path as I uh, showed you the first time and the second time uh, you know, coming back to Dalit. So, I'll uh, meet you back at Timber, uh, where I'll show you well, how I intend to remedy the situation of Dalet having no rules. Alright, and we're back. So, all I need to do, obviously the guy does not want to mix rules because we have no rules on us. So, let's uh, say yes. There's the open rule. Let's just quit out. And now we should have the open rule. I did not save it outside of timber, simply because all we're doing here is picking up a rule to take back to Dalit. So I'll meet you there. Alright, and we're back. So all we need to do now, I did save it outside of Dalit here for a very specific reason that can happen. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen. So they want to mix rules, even though they don't have any rules. Well, the point is, we've got a rule that they don't have, so they want to mix. So, let's say yes. And obviously, we would like to spread the open rule. And 
And that is why we saved outside of Tenwin, just to show you. Yeah, we lost the rule, so we need to reset and try again. I'll just do it on screen. That's why we save outside of Dalit for that reason, because otherwise we'd have to go all the way back to Timber <laughs> to get the rule again. So yeah, um, to, the amount of time it took me to abolish uh, random, I'd probably say it probably took around 10 to 15 minutes or so. Um, again, I can't stress this enough, sometimes it can take upwards of an hour. Um, if you recall back in, before we left Balam when we were, I was trying to get those uh, uh, three conditions, you know, I wanted to lose the minimog card to the card queen, send her to Dalit, and still have one or diff remaining in Balam. That took me about an hour and a half to happen. Simply because the card uh, the card queen just did not want to let go of the all indirect rules, but uh, nonetheless, yeah, managed to get it to happen. But uh, yeah, that usually doesn't take any longer than 10 or 15 minutes. See, so, yeah, it all depends on where you're sitting in the random number generator. And rule open has spread. Awesome! So, to celebrate, let's play some cards with her. And yes, you do want to challenge this person because she has the first set of cards that I would like to pick up. So, alright, we got the diff rule, but really the only re reason we're playing her uh, is because of one card, and that is the Blitz card. So, let's see if I can uh, get one on screen here to show you. Need the Diablos anymore. There we go. It's not there. Uh, let's just win this game, I guess. Hmm, what do we got here? There's a six on the bottom of the bomb, so I may want to play this now. Hmm. Let's go with the usual. Alright, so he'll be able to take it back if I play, if I take it, so. Oh, sweet. Alright, what cards? Well, we gotta get all of them, but alright, so we got the Visage card. That is actually a pretty useful card. It, uh, we don't have it. Well, now we have it, but yeah, there's the Adamantoys card. I do know that is one of the secondary cards. Alright, there we go. Let's update the list. Wendigo. And, yep, need one of those. Well, need two of those in total, or two of them, but yeah. It's one of the bomb card that's already gotten what we need, and the Rex our card can be interchanged two to one to another card, but anyways. So yeah, uh, the card I'm looking for, I'm looking to win 15 Blitz cards from her. Um, I would show you what it looks like on screen, but to be honest, when I edit out the uh, the rest of the games, um, I'll just show you. <laughs> the uh, what the card looks like after I'm done. So yeah, so yeah, I'll just uh, keep playing her until I get the 15 Blitz cards again. This well, she only plays level four cards, so there's uh, about a uh, was it 44, 45 percent chance that you'll get one every single time. So yeah, it's 15 cards, but at least we've got the best chance of getting them. So yeah. Anyway, so I'll uh, keep Challenger, win 15 Blitz cards, and I'll be back uh, well when I'm done.
Alright, and this is Blitz number technically 16, but 15 in terms of what I need to do. Anyways, so T-Rex are. I think I might need to update that one. Oops, Blue Dragon. Blitz. There we go. So yeah, as far as the T-Rex art cards go, um, they are still worth picking up even though they are... You need to, two of them in order to refine them into Dino Bones, is what, you know, what I would be collecting them for. Uh, there's actually another card that is actually uh, better. It's uh, the T-Rex art cards, there's two T-Rex art cards to one Dino Bone, and then there's the Armadodo cards, which are one Armadodo card for one Dino Bone kind of thing. So it's still worth, uh, you know, getting the T-Rex art cards for the sake of, you know, cutting into uh, your future grinding time. So, alright, uh, so I've already got one Dino Bone from when we fought the T-Rex, or when we carded it. Uh, I got one from Armadodo, so that's two. And then six more, so yeah, okay. Let's update that. So yeah, as far as the Blitz goes, I got 16 now oh, again, well... One for the uh, collection and 15 for what I intend to use them for, for magic. Again, I'll have all the uh, cards I won posted in the video description just so you can see what I picked up. Um, and I think I'll just I'll, uh, ask to risk any cards that I think would be a good idea to keep an eye out for uh, while you're grinding for the Blitz cards. So yeah, there's quite a few of them in the level 4, it's just the Blitz cards are the primary uh, uh, reason that we were doing that. So. All right, we got the Blitz cards. Ooh, remember this place? We were here just yesterday, weren't we? Anyways, <laughs> Ooh, what's this? A silence drop point. If you're wondering, uh, no, it was not here back when we were doing the exam. So yeah, can only get it now. So. Alright, well, here is the hotel. Oh, looks like they got a guard station there. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Okay, I thought this was his wife. Well, um, I'm confused. I don't know who's talking. <laughs> Anyways, who's this? <laughs> uh oh, okay. Alright, uh should I do it now or later? I'll do it later. So let's head on into the hotel, because I'm running out of time, so yeah good place to leave off in the hotel. There's a save point right there. Let's uh, take a rest. And if we do that, we get Timber Maniacs number three. Awesome. All right. All right, so we've gotten what I hope to be half of what needs to be done in Dalit. Uh, this time around and I guess next time we'll uh, hopefully finish it off and uh, potentially uh, get ourselves ready to continue with the story. This is Intrepid83 signing off and by continuing with the story I mean finally making our way towards Galbania Garden. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.